Now, I thought this was a really good time to touch on the topic of licking and chewing, because there's a lot of um, myths out there and a lot of speculations out there as to why horses lick and chew and what it means. And the scientific explanation behind it is that the horse is moving from a sympathetic state, so the fight or flight state, to a parasympathetic state or the rest and digest state. Because if you remember, when we first talked about the sympathetic and the parasympathetic states, is that the sympathetic state, the fight or flight state, um, reduces salivation. And it also they also commonly clamp their jaw shut like that. You'll often see foals that are curious, even adult horses that are curious, they will be sniffing like a tarp or something on the ground and they'll get a little bit cu like too curious for their own good and they will mouth the tarp and they'll sort of bite it. And when they bite it, it moves and it makes a noise and they go, oh my God, and they run away. But in that moment when it moved and they had bit it, their jaw clamps shut and they actually run away while still holding on to the tarp. And people laugh and they go, oh, he's so dumb, you know, just let go of the tarp. But he can't actually let go of the tarp before the parasympathetic system kicks in, the rest and digest system, because it's all part of the same state. So I've seen accidents happen when the horse is allowed to bite the tarp and then he gets a fright and he pulls away and goes through a fence or runs into and hurts himself because he's not actually able to let go of that thing that scared him. And now he thinks it's chasing him because he's running away and it's right there and it's not going away. So licking and chewing is that moment when the horse has been in a fight or or like in a sympathetic stimulation state and the salivation has reduced and his jaw is potentially a little bit clamped and then he moves back into the rest and digest the safe safe zone and um, because his jaw can relax and the salivation begins again you have that licking and chewing and swallowing and it's important to note as well that it's not necessarily like licking and chewing is not a bad thing because it, it's not a sign that the horse has just undergone some kind of traumatic experience. It can also happen when the horse is coming down from good stress. So when the horse is coming down from playing or seeking or curiosity, and he's just coming further down into a parasympathetic state, he may also lick and chew because there's more of that salivation happening and that's more of that relaxation. But that's the scientific reasoning behind the licking and chewing. So coming back to our three zones now,